Hi Python learner, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a super important topic, making your program interactive. That means creating a program that actually responds user input, make them feel more alive and engaging. And the two key tool we will use today is input and print functions. So let's get started. The input function is your gateway to user interface. It's post your program waits for user to type something and then stores the input as string. Here an example. So we have the name equal input and then we will ask the user what is his name. So here we say what is your name. Now, when we run, we ask the user and the user can interact with our interface and he can enter his name. Now, let us print the name for the user. It's simple. So we'll say print and then we'll say hello and then we'll concatenate with the variable because here we are storing the value that retrieved from the user in the name variable. And then we'll say welcome to the interactive world. Let us run the application again. Ask the user to enter the name and click enter. And we can say it say hello and then print the name and welcome to the interactive world. Okay. The other thing I would like to mention here um, in the previous example, rather than using the basic string for promote, we can enhance this by um, employing either the uh, ampersand format or using the format function. Uh, for example, the second input statement we'll discuss can be modified to utilize this formatting technique for a more dynamic and customized promote. Now, let us say um, update this one here. Let me comment this one here. And now we can update it here. So here we ask the user to input his name and then actually we are using the ampersand which is kind of inject the name with the second input here. So here we can say what is your name and he then the second input also we will say okay hi and then we will print the name and then we'll ask also what is uh, the age. Let me run this one. So here we can say this is the name and this is the age. It's simple, right? Or we, you can use the format method. So format method, it's cheat for world. It's will doing the same thing. Now, instead of using the ampersand here, you just say dot format and then you pass the variable. Sometimes you need to um, expand your brand, like you need to brand something like very long. In this situation, you can use that rebel code. So here an example. So we can say brand hello world, and we are putting the the triple uh, quotation, uh, which is could be double quotation or single quotation. Both is uh, is the same. So both will have the same functionality. Um, let me comment this one here and then run and both it will be printed the, uh, uh, the long text. Okay. Um, last talk here we will discover the escape character. Obviously uh, we may need to print characters that typically are not visible like a tab or a new line. To achieve this we use the backslash. Uh, to escape character that have alternate meaning. For example, to print tab, you should precede the letter T with the backslash like slash slash T. Without the backslash, it would symbol print the letter T. But with the backslash, it's print the tab instead. Okay, so here an example. Print hello world and backslash backslash T and world. So here we are proceed with the letter T with the ba backslash. 
so if we run the program it will be print hello and backslash t and word so if we need just to using the special character simplify we just removing the backslash we just keep one with the t and it will make a tab between the hello and the word uh, thank you so much and see you on the next video